Hi guys, welcome back to another Grace HQ video. <laughs> you now currently join me, I'm laying underneath a trailer. Gotta change a load leveling valve. <sighs> They're not too bad, but this one just looks gash. It is still Thursday, my YouTube video is going live tonight, which is, when you're watching this, will be last week's video. So yeah, this is what I'm doing today. So. This trailer coming for an inspection. I don't know if you can see, but the valve is cracked, and that is actually a MOT failure. So I'll give the customer the option whether he wants to change it or not, and he wants to change it. So we'll go ahead and change it. So slight problem. It turns out they've ordered the wrong valve. So how this one's got one port coming out of it. It's the other one. The new one's got two. So. Handy. So I'm currently just changing the brake shoes and drill on this axle because we got no brake performance. But not being funny, look at them, they ain't working. You can even see, look, the build up of brake, brake dust. I'm going to show you an easy way to knock in studs in. So, you can get all your studs in place, make sure the flat edge is obviously facing this lip. Get your sledge on. Make sure you don't hit the exciter ring, of course, even though it doesn't matter on this one because there's no ABS sensor anyway. But then, literally, just and obviously, because I'm doing it one handed, you need a bit of you need two hands on it, of course. Just knock these two in, and then the gun will just pull them up nice and tight once you put the wheel on. So just do the rest of them and then it'll be jobs are good and that is the easiest way to knock wheel studs in I always use the old drum to sit it on so you can knock them through and it don't damage the threads perfect bosh well we managed to put the drum and shoes back on the rear axle we're now just on the way to MOT with the trailer um, I'm going to have to do a voluntary when I'm there uh, as I had, didn't have time to brake test the trailer before I left. Oh. Brake system truck malfunction. It's, this, is that, this is our unit that's doing that. Every now and again it will just come on and it will go back off. But it's not the trailer, it's the unit that's at fault. So I'll have to get that fixed once I get back to the yard. Oh, there's congestion. People don't know how to drive. I tell you, it's scary how some people have got a license on the road, I tell you. But we're literally just around the corner. Well, we've made it alive anyway. We ain't crashed. Is there anyone in the lane? I don't know. But hopefully, there isn't. That's it, just pull out right in front of me. That was like a chicane course, that was. Buses everywhere. Oh, there's one in the lane. Baz is in the lane from Ryder. So we'll park up here and sit and wait patiently. Perfect. Well, another MOT, another pass. So that was good. Don't know if you can see it down there, but it says pass. Got a monitor on, apparently there's a bit of play in the pin, but it's not, it's this unit that's got the play, so I need to adjust that. Um, I did try and explain it but to him, but obviously he's got to do his job as well as what I've got to do mine, so I need to get that adjusted, so. We're literally just around the corner from the yard now. Get back, hook another trailer up, and uh, I'm gonna go for a brake test, I think. Right, you now join us, it's Friday. Thank God. <laughs> We're just dragging out this train. Just going for scrap. So, it's got a horrific air leak on it, but I need to get it out, cut all the brake chambers off of it, because I need to back it up onto a low loader in the morning. But 
I still need to unload all the fences off the back and get it out of here, but I'm waiting for this bloke to move. It's doing weird. Oh my God, what a disaster we had. So I pulled it out, thought oh, I'll just take the gates off. All the gates fell over. <laughs> all the gates fell over. So I've just had to restack all the gates and that ain't light, I tell you. I just gotta put them big posts on. Move the horse box out the way, I'm just gonna put it there for now. Cause it's doing me heading now. And I need to get on. What a palaver that was. At least it's all over there now. You can stay there for a couple of days. So I'm gonna pick this up, slew it over so I can get round. Cause with that being off the wheel, uh, being off the rim, it's a bit of a nightmare. Well, what a nightmare that was. Trailer is all stripped. I've just got to take that rubbish off and then I've just got to lift that gearbox off, but that's no biggie. <laughs> Driver can move inspection. He's left his flip flop here. Don't want to touch that, God knows. I can go in the bin. But yeah. Oh, I need to get a jump pack. That's all ready for collection in the morning. So I'll give you a sneak peek. Oh, yes. So we've literally just dropped the car back off at George's so he can now put the final lacquer on the car. I'm not going to reveal everything, but I'll give you a sneak little glance. And here's George. Give us a wave, George. This is George. This is the lad that's painting my car. And yeah, this is a sneak little peek of what it looks like. Right, that's now the stock car all dropped off. I'm gonna leave the trailer here because I'm coming back first thing Monday morning anyway and I need to get fuel in, in the garage where I get fuel. You have to unhook the trailer anyway. And put it in the lay by. Are you wearing your seatbelt, Catherine? Yeah. Good. You know, safety first and all that. But we're pretty low on fuel, so. Well, we've got a bit of bad news. Oh, wait there. Actually, I'll bet you that's just an airline that's popped off. A whistle. Oh, God. Look at that. Perfect. Of rag, me hands are dirty. Time to go back to the yard. Whoa, go steady. <laughs> so today we're racing at Northampton. Saw it? No. Really? Oh my god, you're taking the mic. Push it. I'll tell you what. Right there. So these latches have to go on. Pull the door. Saw it? Daddy's girlfriend. Sawed. So we're all loaded up. See you later. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> no, actually, I'll just make sure everything just turns off. Yeah, ow! So we're all ready to go. Hopefully, we have a good meeting like we did at King's End. Well, it's now Monday morning. <laughs> Now we're going to pick the car up from George from the last time. It's ready. Oh, it's cold in here. Very, very cold. Shit. But no, we had another great weekend. Another great weekend. We had uh, first race, we went out. I was a bit skeptical on how to take the track because Northampton, I mean, I, I love the track to be fair. Um, but I hadn't raced there since world final and only did one race. <laughs> So, and since then, well, I think world final meeting or the meeting before, they'd changed all the track, they'd made the bends shorter, uh, like wider, sorry, so you could turn in, you turned in earlier, I think. I don't know. But anyway, the line changed anyway. Um, and like I said, they did that the one meeting before the world final. I didn't race that one anyway. So then I only did one race at Northampton when it was the world final meeting. So I was like, a bit skeptical on how to take it. And uh, yeah, we went and won. <laughs> um, so obviously then the final, I went from hero to zero in a space of like one second. Uh, it was my own fault. Uh, literally went into the first corner, brilliant start. Went into the first corner, it was pushing. And I thought Mark Woodall was on the outside of me. So I thought oh, if I give it a bit more throttle and sort of like bounce my back end off of him, and that was set me up good for the court, like for coming out the corner. And then he wasn't there. And it just, it went from being really pushy to me facing the wrong way. 
Um, so that was my own fault. Um, and by the and then as I spun round, the car stalled. Um, so by the time I got it going, I was two laps down. And there's pointless rejoining unless I think I'm Superman and I can get myself two laps, undo myself two laps. And it ain't gonna happen, is it? So I thought I'll just pull in the middle, save the tyres, whatnot. Um, then National come here again, another good start. Me and Josh Smith, he's another blue top. Um, we got a cracking start, we was gone. A um, lot of the blues was getting our way through the yellows. The yellow flag would come out. Um, obviously, then we started again. Uh, another good start. And yeah, we was we were getting our way through them, and then uh, going round. Then Polly was catching us. Fair play to Pop Polly. Fucking he, brand new car, and he goes and wins heat and final. It's awesome. No fair play to him. Um, but no, I think Pot Josh Smith was in front of me, and then Polly was behind me, and I think I just tried that a little bit too hard because now I'm so confident with I feel confident within the car. If you get what I mean. I'm now trying to push the car's boundaries, if you if that makes sense. Whereas like before, last year I didn't I didn't know what the car was going to do, so I was I wasn't confident in the car. But now I I feel happy and I feel comfortable in the car. I'm now trying different things with the car, and because there were so many ruts in the corner, I was going low, then I was trying to go high. Anyway, there was a rut coming out of turn four. No, the track's changed now. You start on the other side, coming out of turn two. Uh, and I hit that as I was like sideways and it just flicked me round. Anyway, I was trying to get back out and Frank hit me like head on or like as he was going around the corner. And uh, I then, the yellow flags come out because someone lost their tire. We got back going and uh, yeah, I, I was dead last and I got up to eighth. So yeah, in the national, the car was motoring and it was really, really, the track was really bumpy. That's the bumpy it's ever been really. And like, for the car's health, it don't do the car no good at all. But one, at the end of the day, it's a stock car. And two, to be fair, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good. But anyway, less of me waffling. And um, we'll go up to George now and go and collect the stock car. Well, we're now on the way back from George's. We've got the car in the back. It looks awesome. So it's now Monday, like I said. We're racing on Friday. We best pull our finger out. Well, we've just arrived. Well, we've just arrived. There's our trailer. So we'll hook her up, draw back the curtains and pick up the car. Just collected the car from the paint shop. It's now all just been lacquered. So I've now got to build it all up because we're racing on Friday. <laughs> oh, nothing might leave it until last minute. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how we get on, I suppose. We're getting closer and closer to the deadline. Axles are in. I'm not going to show you the whole car. <laughs> Front axles in. That's a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. We're out in the daft today. We're um. Oh, excuse the mess in here. It's uh. I started cleaning changed all the switches as well but we've just got some fuel i have just got to go back to our yard in Corby which is actually not even a second away let me put you on my phone mount so if we go through here hopefully the daft fits I think it does Ooh. I know the scan you fits, but I didn't know whether the death fits or not. So, right, let's get out of here. It's our time to go. Mid lifts up, so we've got a bit more traction. So, our uh, yard yeah, literally just stone throw down here. So, we need to get trailer six. Got, uh, that's for MOT next week. Uh, I've just got to go and take it for a pre brake test first. So, let's go in here. So, this is our other yard which we rent out to all different lorry companies. 
um, so they can park their vehicles in here. Need to fill in some of the potholes, but like a bit like the other yard, we can't do that until um, what's it called? Until the rain goes. This is the one we've got to pick up. This is the one for MOT, so we'll get hooked up. I'm hoping the fifth wheel is going to play ball. Sometimes I have to push the handle in myself. Oh, perfect. Give it a pull. Lovely. Look at the state of it in here. It's actually disgusting. She's not truck fest ready, is she? It's got a rip in the curtain. Make sure the latch is gone over, yeah. Right, let's hook up. Oh, brilliant. Put the airlines on first, uh, shall we? I'm trying to do this one handed. No, yeah, right. Right, can't stand tangled airlines. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. <coughs> Warm the legs up. Perfect. All right, let's go and get it brake tested. Oh, what's beeping at me? I think I'm not going to be able to reveal the whole car to you uh, regarding the stock car, only because it's now Wednesday obviously my video is getting uploaded tomorrow and I don't think I'll finish the car until Friday morning yeah. so I do apologize if you go over to my social medias you will see photos of my car um, especially my Instagram I'll put a story on my Instagram um, and maybe a post on Instagram maybe but yeah, so we're, um, it's going to be a bit of a mad rush really for, sorry, I'll get this beacon out of the way first. So yeah, it's it's a bit lastminute.com, I know, uh, it just things haven't gone to plan, you know how it is. Um, so ideally I wanted the car all on wheels and ready tonight, but that is not going to happen. It's going to be more like tomorrow night, but by the time that's done, obviously this video is already going to be uploaded anyway. So. In the next video, you'll see the car all done. But if you follow me on Facebook and stuff, you'll see the car being published anyway. So uh, if you head over to my Facebook, you'll see I'll do a post on there uh, before it will get smashed up on Friday. Well, I'm hoping it doesn't. But yeah, we've had a good season so far, so hopefully that can continue. But anyway, so a brake test. Well, unfortunately, it failed because it was empty. It didn't get you 300. So that is literally just going to be well it even says free loaded retest so i'll put some weight on it and then i'll uh, i'll come back but as i was already in corby it makes sense just to come and have a look so that's failed so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go back to the yard uh probably put some weight on this uh, and then i've got to go and do another brake test and then i think i want to call it enough for today i'm gonna probably do a little bit more on stock cap then so yeah i'll go i'll go back home and uh edit this video for you guys ready for tomorrow night and uh yeah so i do apologize that you haven't seen the final piece of the stock car uh that will be in the next one i do promise because i'm racing it friday so it's got to be done by friday morning so i might even have thursday afternoon off work just so i can just get it done because i hate rushing even though i've left it last minute but sorry there's just a lorry doing all sorts of stuff out here i don't know what he's doing but yeah so bit of good news whoa where's he going mad ed uh so basically the chap that has won the giveaway if you can remember um he is actually from racing now he contacted me and said look i don't really have no use for the light bar can you can you buy me a tire and um i said well i've got some old tires that i don't really use no more um as he doesn't race as much of a competitive level as what i do he has 
said, yeah, I'll have your old tyres. So I've got a couple of tyres I think I've only raced once on. Um, so I'm going to give him two of them and some of my older tyres, which I've told him, that I've shown him what tyres they are and he's um, he's happy to do that. I'm going to give them to him at Skegness, which is on Friday, I think. Yeah. So that means one thing, uh, the Volvo V3 top light bar is back up for giveaway. So, all of you that entered before, uh, we're just going to write that off. So we're going to basically start again. So if you entered before, make sure you enter on this one, if you get what I mean. So, how to apply, make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you go and follow my TikTok account as well. And yeah, we're going to probably run it for about two weeks and then we'll announce the winner, do it the same way as we did it before. I'll put all your names in a book and then I'll allocate you all a number, put it in a number generator and then obviously whatever number matches your name, blah, 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 you win. And then depending where you are, I'll come and deliver it myself in the Scania and then I'll take you out in the Scania as well. And if you want Nathan to come along, he can come along as well. <laughs> but no, so I think that's about it for this video really. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of work to do when I get back. So if you like this video, make sure you go and hit the like button. And if you haven't done already, make sure you go and subscribe. And hopefully we have a good Friday race meeting and no one scratches the car. <laughs> but um, yeah, hope you guys liked it and I'll see you on the next one.